Hey everybody, uh, today is another day where I thought I would just let my hair do whatever it wanted. I think the extra volume thing is kind of growing on me a little bit. Anyway, a couple of weeks ago I said that I had quite a few fashion videos coming up, so here is another one. It's always an honour to do a video for Dark and Love. I really like their things. These guys here, you see me do a couple of videos from them before with the dreadful spindly killerfish logo. I honestly feel like they're getting better. I feel like the new stuff that they've just brought out that I'm going to show you some of now is really cool. I think it's a lot better than the stuff they had before. I think that the designs are really nice. I don't know, I just feel like as a as a fashion brand they're getting way better. Which is good because I've noticed they've also started becoming quite popular. I think these new things are really cool too, especially two of the items I have to show you. I have four garments and a couple of accessoires. This is okay explain today. Um, here is one of the accessoires right here. Just a nice pretty lace fan with a tassel on it. Fans are totally unisex, anyone can carry one. Oh, and they're so helpful in the summertime. But what I have noticed is that a lot of fans that you buy, they just fall apart really quickly. Like usually this little screw will come out really quickly. Yeah, they just don't live a very long time, especially when you're doing this with them all day. This is my second fan from Dark and Love and they are my favourites because they're quite solid. They've got quite a lot more substance to them than any other fan that I've ever had before. Anyway, let us get on to the new collection of pretty black frilly clothes from Dark and Love. First thing I have to show you is this dress that I have on at the moment. I think really all you can see is the neckline from there, but it is a very nice neckline. I really like this shape. It's that kind of material that's fitting, but not unforgiving. So it clings to you and shows off your shape, but it's also not unforgivingly tight. <laughs> it's really interesting, this dress. It has this metal cross with black gemstones on the front. And from there, all the way around to the back, it has a pair of chains hanging, which is very nice. It's sort of gathered around the bottom, and the hem is clear with these sort of ruffles around it. Yeah, I can see myself wearing this quite a lot. My husband really likes this one in particular. I like mini dresses a lot, but I don't often find ones that look nice. I think just because of the gathering and stuff around the bottom, it kind of helps create like a, a nice body shape. But yeah, and the next thing I'll show you is the other thing that I like the most. I actually wore this on the first day of Wave Gothic dress and kind of like the opening day. So this is it here. It is a maxi dress and it is awesome. It's made of the same stretchy and fitting fabric as the other dress, but it's so interesting and so beautiful. It has long sleeves and attached are these lovely lace panels that look a bit like wings when you put your arms out. The front has an asymmetrical cut and then becomes lace around the bottom. And the cool part is it has these chains hanging around it. I just think this dress is really nice. I really like this dress. I think it looks so elegant. It looks so like dark and stylish. I would wear this to a party. I would wear this to go out dancing. I would wear this to go to the city. I'm sure I'm going to get loads of wear out of this dress. I love maxi dresses. This one's really cool. I love the chains on it. I just think that's such an interesting detail. The chains actually feel relatively substantial. Like they're kind of double looped and stuff because uh, I've had clothing that's had chains on it in the past and it's just broken really quickly like you could just go like that and it would break but they seem pretty good. I love this dress so much. Next item is a skirt. This one here as you can see it is made of many different kinds of fabric. I like fashion that looks elegant but like a bit destroyed if that makes any sense. I, I think it looks nice when you have something that's really elegant but also like a bit fucked up. I feel like this is quite good for that sort of look. Maybe that's just me but this is one of their one size fits most items. It's actually reasonably stretchy but what I found is that their one size fits most items tend to be quite small like I have a couple of skirts from them and they are quite tight. <laughs> this one however seems to have a bit more stretch and a bit more uh what's the word i don't know i've forgotten words give that's the word this one has a bit more give oh god been in germany too long i'm forgetting how to speak english i like how this dress is just made of like netting and lace and ruffles and bits of different things interesting and textured and it looks really cool interesting and really has that you know elegant crossed with messed up look that i like so much very very cool i like the skip very much when i was talking about sizes i'll tell you the size that i usually order with dark and love they also are a company that uses asian sizes although they're not as tiny as some brands are. Other Asian brands, for example, Punk Rave, whose sizes are very small, I will usually order a double XL or even a triple XL if I can get it. Uh, with Dark and Love, I order a XL. 
Mm. And that tends to fit pretty perfectly. They also have like custom size. So like there's, there's a thing on their website where it says custom. I'll link their website below if you want to go have a look. So like if you talk to them, I think it's possible that you can get things made to fit you. So the last item is another dress and it's quite it's a little bit saucy. Well, I think so anyway. You might not think so. <laughs> and it's this one here. It, I feel like it's meant to be a little bit kimono inspired. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm just judging by like the the giant sleeves on it, the the, the shape of it. I, I can't really explain it, but it's a it's a very interesting dress. It's like they've taken a very lovely maxi dress and sort of cut bits out of it to make it risque. It's like patterned black velvet with a kind of black print on top. Like a, like a jacquard style fabric. The sleeves are super long. It has these two cutouts at the waist. It also has this interesting cutout along one side of the skirt part. Maybe it's just me, but I do get a kind of kimono-ish vibe from this dress. I just thought that was quite interesting. That's the only thing I haven't worn out yet. Like everything else I've worn out or taken out with me. I do like to give things a bit of a quality control test before I talk about them here on YouTube. Um, speaking of taking things out and about, uh, something that has been extremely fucking useful, unfortunately, particularly over the festival recently, was this umbrella. They have some very nice umbrellas, actually. It's a shame that it's been raining so much. It's been like hardcore tropical storms, so I'm always thankful for these. So like my other umbrella from them, it also comes in its own little frilly bag. Nice and easy to carry around and it's very pretty. I shan't open it in here, so let's go have a look at it outside, shall we? Yes, I'm a little bit superstitious whatever i can't help it thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video do let me know which one of these things you liked the most i'd say my favorite item would be the maxi dress i just think it's a really nice maxi dress and i'm going to wear the shit out of that for sure and yeah i think i'm going to wear this dress a lot as well like i said i have trouble finding mini dresses that flatter my body shape but uh this one kind of does Yay. Before we go, I just want to say, I'm thinking of just going back to doing two videos every week. Is that okay? Are you like okay with that? Well, the reason for that being that most of the ideas that I have for videos, and I have many ideas, a lot of the ideas that I have are a bit more ambitious and require a bit more time and effort to do. And I feel like I would rather create two really good videos every week rather than just three that aren't as good as I would like them to be, you know? Plus I've got some like bigger projects and stuff that I'd like to start working on. Let me know what you think about that. Is that okay? <laughs> I'll just test it out and see how it goes. I don't know. If I've got enough time, yeah, I'll continue trying to do three. But from now, I'm just going to do two. I will, of course, link in the description box below to everything that I've shown you today if you would like to go have a wee look for yourself. Yeah, Dark and Love still only does women's clothing. They don't have anything for men yet. Like I said, they, they haven't been going for that long. Like, they have quite a few very nice things, but they don't have, like, loads and loads of stuff they haven't been around that long so hopefully they'll get there someday so anyway thank you very much for joining me and as always take care of yourselves be nice to each other and i'll see you next time Bye bye